Welcome to Java Quiz series. Here is one more question. Which interface is used to create a thread in Java? Option A, runnable interface. Option B, callable interface. Option C, future interface. Option D, comparator interface. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option A, runnable interface. Well, in Java, the runnable interface is commonly used to create a threads. It is a functional interface that defines a single method called run method which contains a code that will be executed by the thread. So to create a thread, you can implement the runnable interface in a class and then pass an instance of that class to the thread object. And you can use lambda expression to implement a runnable functional interface as well. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. In Java, what is the primary purpose of thread class? Option A, file handling. Option B, string operations. Option C, network operations. Option D, creating and executing threads. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option D, creating and executing threads. Well, in Java, the thread class is a fundamental class for multi-threading. It represents a thread of execution in a program. The primary purpose of thread class is to create and manage threads allowing concurrent execution of multiple parts of the program. Alright, option D is correct because the thread class in Java is specifically designed for creating and executing threads making it central to multi-threading in Java. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. Which method is used to start the execution of a thread? Option A run method option b start method option c execute method option d go method well we have five seconds to answer this question the correct answer is start method well the start method in java is used to start the execution of a thread when you call the start method the thread state moves from new state to runnable state and the java virtual machine invokes the threads run method. So this allows the thread to execute its task in a parallel with other threads. Okay. So just remember in order to start the execution of the thread, you have to call the start method and JVM will internally call the run method to execute the task. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. What is the purpose of join method when you know a thread object? Option A, it terminates the thread. Option B, it pauses the thread. Option C, it stop the thread. Option D, it exits the program. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option B, it forges the thread. Well, the join method in Java is used to forge the execution of a current thread until the thread on which join was called has finished executing. So this is useful when you want to ensure that a particular thread completes its task before the program proceeds further. For example, if you have a thread performing some essential computation and other threads depends on the result of that computation, then you can use this join method to make sure that dependent threads wait for the computation to finish. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. What is the purpose of wait method in a Java threads? Option A, it forces the execution of a thread. Option B, to terminate a thread. Option C, to notify other threads to resume execution. Option D, to release the lock held by the thread. So you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is, it forces the execution of a thread. Well, the wait method in Java is used to force the execution of a current thread until another thread notifies it to resume. When a thread calls wait method, it releases the lock it holds on the object and enters in a waiting state. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. How can thread be forced to sleep for a specific amount of time? Option A using sleep method. Option B using wait method. Option C using yield method. Option D using forced method. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option A using slip method. Well, in Java, slip method is a static method and it is belongs to thread class. This slip method is used to force the execution of a current thread for a specific number of milliseconds. Well, this slip method is pretty useful for creating delays in a 
program execution or managing the timing of thread operations. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is a one more question. Which class is the super class of all exceptions and error classes in Java? Option A, exception class. Option B, error class. Option C, throwable class. Option D, object class. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option C, throwable class. Well, in Java, the throwable class is a super class of all the errors and exceptions in a Java language. Both the exception and error classes are directly subclasses of throwable class. So this design allows the Java programmers to handle all kinds of errors and exceptions in a unified hierarchy. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. Which keyword is used to manually throw an exception in Java? Option A, new keyword. Option B, throw keyword. Option C, throws keyword. Option D, throwable class. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option B, throw keyword. Well, in Java, the throw keyword is used to explicitly throw an exception. The new keyword is used to create an object of the class and throws keyword is used to declare a you know exception as a signature in the method throwable is basically a class and throw is basically a keyword that we use to explicitly throw an you know exception that's why the answer is option b throw welcome to java quiz series here is a one more question which of these is a checked exception option a null pointer exception option b arithmetic exception option c io exception Option D, index out of bounds exception. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option C, IO exception. Well, in Java, IO exception is a inbuilt checked exception and checked exceptions need to be either caught or declared in a method signature using throws keyword. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is a one more quiz question. What is the use of finally block? Option A, it catches any exception. Option B, it executes whether an exception is thrown or not. Option C, it executes only when an exception is thrown. Option D, it executes only when an exception is not thrown. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. Well, the correct answer is option B, it ex always executes whether an exception is thrown or not. Well, the finally block is executed after the try and catch blocks, regardless of whether an exception is thrown or caught. So this finally block is a perfect place to perform the cleanup operations like closing the files or closing the database connections. All right, answer B is correct because it states that the finally block executes whether an exception is thrown or not. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is a one more question. An interface with no methods is known as Option A, abstract interface. Option B, marker interface. Option C, empty interface. Option D, functional interface. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option B, marker interface. Well, in Java, an interface with no defined methods is known as marker interface. It is used to mark a classes that supports certain capabilities. Just remember, the interface it don't have any methods is known as marker interface, and this marker interface is useful to mark a classes that support certain capabilities. Welcome to Java quiz. Here is a one more question. In Java 9, which type of methods can be added to interfaces to share a code between methods? Option A, static methods. Option B, private methods. Option C, final methods. Option D, protected. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option B, private methods. Well, starting from Java 9, interfaces can have private methods, which can help in sharing code between methods without exposing them to the external classes. Well, as we know that Java 8 onwards, we can define the static and default methods in an interface. And Java 9 onwards, we can also define the private methods in an interface. Well, private methods 
are useful because we can keep the common code in a private method and we can call those private methods in a default methods in a interface. Welcome to Java quiz and here is one more question. What is the purpose of instance of operator? Option A multiply instances. Option B compare two references. Option C check if an object is an instance of specific class or interface. Option D to create a new instance of a class. Well, you have 5 seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option C. Check if an object is an instance of a specific class or an interface. Well, in Java, the instance of operator is used to check if an object belongs to a particular class or implements a particular interface. Okay.